Why didn't you use the alpha cool back plate? Guys, chill. I, I didn't use the alpha cool back plate because this one has holes in it. The fans are gonna work better if the air can go through the holes, right? Um, on the other hand, look at this. Who, who in their right mind is going to run this backplate with the card horizontally mounted? <laughs> you completely screw over the RGB and the LED. Like, like this, this backplate was not meant for the XC3. I also said that I'm going to be doing like three content pieces on this. Just, just chill. Just chill. It's okay. Breathe. Breathe with me, breathe with me. <sighs> hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers, and today's testing, we're literally just gonna be doing an update to yesterday's video. All, all I'm doing is putting this backplate on. It's definitely, where's the other one here? It's definitely, I would say about twice as thick as the stock EVGA one. Uh, it definitely feels more hardy, right? The thermocouple sensors are going to be in the exact same spot. This thing being perfectly flat should make installation of that um, MP5 Works backplate cooler way easier. I mean, I will, I'll, I'll do it and I'll, we'll find out, right? I'll test to make sure it's making good contact everywhere. Um, the problem is this is going to make the GPU look ugly as shit. So... What we're going to be doing instead is I'm going to actually vertical mount the GPU. So not only will we're going to be using this backplate, making sure it's flat, but we're also going to be vertical mounting it to see if the MP5 works cooler works just as well vertical as it does, you know, horizontal. Like, like are those little uh, rope spring things, are those going to be good enough to hold it against this thing while it's setting up, right? That's, that's today's test pretty much. Yeah, you can't even use this backplate on this thing, man. Like this, this, uh, this, this, like screw over here doesn't line up at all. I'm gonna have to use some kind of like clothesline clip to like hold this corner. Like you can't use that. This is why I didn't use this backplate, guys. This is why. Like this is like I'm literally doing this just to test to see if it works better. But otherwise, you cannot use this backplate on the XC3. It was not designed for it. Um, I'll get some vice grips or something and hold this corner together somehow. But yeah, it is what it is. Let, let's, let's go put this up in the rig here and then, uh, yeah, see what happens. Okay, well, here is my solution. I used like a little clip from a GoPro just to clamp this, this corner down. I don't know. It, it'll do the job for now. I'm not gonna leave this on, but my mother of God, you know what I mean? Just the, the people, people comment way too much on YouTube, not knowing what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. Whatever. Let's pu let's put the uh, MP5 works thing on. So because this backplate is thicker and flat, it should be much easier to install here. Uh, I would assume. So, all right, here we go. This should be pretty center here. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm not gonna bother with the install can because you guys already saw it once, but okay, yeah, so th this seems like it was a lot easier. Like it's, yeah, okay, I, I can see <laughs> I can see why uh, it was designed for flat back plates. This, I don't foresee us having any, any um, contact issues with it with it this time. Let's uh, throw it in the rig and fire it up and do some testing, shall we? I got this all back together now. I had to kind of redo some of the lines here, but got the back plate. Can you see it? Yeah, seems to be okay. Good contact. Everything. Yeah, everything's fine. Um, this this does look. 
I mean, if I if I actually had hard lines, I would make this really nice. But this this does look a lot nicer with the uh, that shitty backplate. The only problem is there's yeah there's there's no way to clamp it on the top left here. So I mean, for the purposes of this test, it's fine. But I'm gonna be going back to the EK plate anyway, just just because of this. This I can't I can't be using this on a daily system, right? But hell, let's do some benchmarks and give it a shot, shall we? Well, 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 would you look at that? We actually lost four degrees on temperature one and five, six degrees on temperature two. So it does work better with a solid backplate. It actually does. Um, check this out as well, actually. We lost two, three degrees on the core. Which is impressive. So it actually made a difference on the core this time. That worked a lot better than I thought it would have. Like, a lot better. There, I guess there's just so much more thermal mass to that backplate. And there's, I guess, twice as much contact between the cooler and the backplate. It's, there's just, there's so much more going on there. So we actually got four degree improvement on the back PCB, at the rear PCB. And we actually got a 2-3 core improvement on the core. Um, I don't know what to do about the 3090 now. I, I also don't know what to do about my 3080. I, I guess maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll email AlphaCool and see if they'll actually give me a replacement for the, um, the, the full XE3 one. Because now I want to use that backplate. That made... I'll use a I'll use that backplate vertical mount and I'm okay with that, right? I just want the whole thing to be covered. Um, but yeah, that that was that was really good. That was really good. But now I need a different backplate for my 3090. Like if I could if I could just buy that Optimus 3090 backplate or something, you know what I mean? And and then use the cooler on that thing. Um, yeah. So I guess Moral of the story, it does work a lot better, not a lot, it works better on a solid backplate. It was actually way easier to install. It was simple. I, I spent like an hour on this instead of all day. Um, but the first video was a good example of what you might go through if you're trying to install it on a stock backplate, you know what I mean? So every video has its own value. The, the value of this one was... If you have a water cooler with a, just a, a straight back plate and you throw this on top, it's easy as shit. Easy as shit, and it works better. And yeah, like that was the result of this video. So that was actually awesome. So for the 3090, I, I might do that video later when... I'm going to do some brainstorming and try and figure out what the best approach is going to be for that one. Just because... Now that I know that this works better, four, four or five degrees on memory ICs on the rear might make more of a difference than just PCB temperature, right? So, um, I, I'll keep you guys posted on what I do with that. I'll probably not do that for a while until I figure out how I'm going to do it. But um, if you have any suggestions for me, post in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. What do you guys think I should do with it on the 3090? Um, or... I'll be on, I'll be live on Twitch tonight at uh, 6 p.m. If you need any help there, come join us over there. We all hang out. There's like 30 of us that come on. If you need any Warzone help or whatever, I'll be on there tonight. Uh, give me your suggestions over there too. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, hope you found this content useful. Um, when I when I test something and I post a video on it. Don't, don't just make assumptions and assume that I did something wrong or I should have tested it better. There's always room for more videos, my friends. There's always room for more content. I don't have to do it in a specific way one time. I can make 20 videos, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no rush on any of this shit, you know what I mean? But if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you want me to try with the 3090 now. Or if you, maybe if you know someone that's just selling a backplate, maybe hit me up with that. I don't know, right? Um, other than that, this was a pretty short video. They just, I wanted to test that out. It worked better. And that's about it. 
Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you see you in the next one. Talk to you later.